You know, I've been living in South Korea for 14 years. I've been living in Seoul for 12 years. Everyone knows who watches this channel that I absolutely love this country. And of course, Korea has its problems. There are some issues here, but there are overwhelmingly more good things, more positives than there are negatives, at least in my opinion. <laughs> and one of the positives that I absolutely love, I simply adore about Korea, is the park system. More than any other country that I've visited, Korea has the best parks, hands down. I just walked into a random park here in Seoul, South Korea. Let's take a little tour and see why I think Korea has the best parks in the world and maybe you will too yo guys welcome back to the channel this is francois mark i'm here at some random park in downtown seoul i have no idea where i am maybe there's like a map or something <laughs> that would show me the name of where i am but i just saw this park and i thought it was incredible and it just made me realize that usually Get out of the sun. <laughs> usually all of the parks that I go to in Korea, no, I don't want to say usually, all of the parks that I go to in Korea are just wonderfully constructed and a joy to be in. In every Korean park that I've been to, you can find these exercise machines outside and they're always clean. Like there is a person who comes around and usually cleans this once a day, at least once a day, as far as uh, I know, because in my neighborhood, there's a park that I go to often and I always see people cleaning it. You'll always see like these exercise machines and the equipment is not old, it's pretty new. It's pretty good to use, like there is no defect or anything. So you'll always see this in Korea, but especially at this park, this exercise equipment looks, I guess, much better than other parks just because of the scenery that's around. You can see all of the trees and just imagine now fall is kind of ending, but if this were high fall, there would be deep red, deep yellow, deep orange, deep green all around here. So can you imagine yourself just exercising with this view and usually the parks that i go to don't have stairs but man, this park <sighs> has a lot of stairs i'm joking like korea is a very mountainous and hilly country so of course there are going to be stairs like everywhere you go but look at this park this park has a really nice weight room and this weight room i'm imagining will be closed in the winter right now it's like late fall because there there is no like drape or a door to enclose the exercise equipment. You have everything that you need to exercise and it's for free. You don't need to pay any kind of membership. Incline machine here, there's bench press over there. You have leg raises. This machine that like shakes your, your waist. I never know what this machine does. Three weights here, you can do lats. A nice area here at this park to work out. I don't even have this exercise equipment at the park where I live. So this park is really premium. Oh, just being around exercise equipment really makes me want to work out. I know you guys watch a lot of my videos, so you know Francois loves to exercise, but I can't really do any exercises at the gym with those weights because of my wrist. You know, it's it was broken, it was fractured. It's getting better, but the doctor says, nah, you can't do any hard exercises until next year. Only next month, I'll be able to do push-ups. So I'm actually ready for that. Can't wait. <laughs> and this is another thing that I love about the parks in Korea. Like people are always here just walking. You'll always see people walking their dogs or just walking themselves. It's just, it's amazing place to be in Korean parks because there's like no danger of anyone robbing you or like stabbing you or like doing any kind of physical assault to you or even like stealing something from you. Korean parks are just crazy just for that safety issue alone. Look at the view, look at this. This is probably one of the best views of Seoul that you'll ever have. Just look at that. Besides Bukaksan, I think this view of Seoul is just, it's crazy. It's incredible especially if you have a wide angle lens on your camera or your camera phone you can just get all of this all of this wonderful scenery in one field of view korean parks also have a lot of benches and the benches are usually made of wood i've seen some made out of like metal but it just feels like super premium look at this this is nice better than sitting on metal because i think uh, uh, sitting down yeah this feels feels better to my bum. <laughs> my butt definitely feels better sitting on wood than it would sitting on like cold metal, especially at this time of the year or during this time of the year. Man, this sun in Korea. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, much better than sitting on metal. This park has a really big playground for children, like a, a little slide down here. And then there's a, a pit like further back there. There's a sand pit for children to like jump in and slide down. Like I haven't seen a sand pit 
in forever. I remember when I was a kid, we used to have sand pits as I was growing up. I guess I stopped going to playgrounds and <laughs> there was no need for me to actually look for sand pits. You can see there's a sand pit here, there's a bucket. Maybe there was a child here earlier. They even have, look at this. There's even a, a section here where children can practice rock climbing. I think that's very helpful, uh, especially in Korea, because a lot of Koreans love to do rock climbing and go hiking. Children can practice uh, their balance by walking up the incline. Man, I wish I were a kid again. <laughs> and I know you're thinking, Francois, it's just a park. And maybe it is for you, but I don't know. Like, I really love Korea. Some people will say I'm a simp, you know, like, oh, you're simping for Korea. Like, you know, Korea must be paying you or something. I'm like, Korea doesn't pay me anything. I mean, I earn a salary here for my job. I really love Korea for some reason. Like, I mean, I've been here for 14 years. So all of the small things people may take for granted here in Korea, I just, even after 14 years, I just find them like exceptionally like pleasing. Finally, I get to go down. <laughs> I'm always going up in Korea. Like I'm always taking the stairs. I'm always ascending. <laughs> but this time I get to go down, which feels much better. <laughs> Yo, check out the view over here from this park. You can see, I don't know if you can see through this fence here. I'll try to, right there. There's Lotte Tower and then just like the whole cityscape. It's amazing. Maybe I can go down here and get a, a better view, but I don't know. Like usually the higher you are, the better the vantage point is. Let's try, let's try. Getting cold in Korea too. I don't think I, I dressed well enough today. <laughs> Freezing. And I like how the culture and history of Korea is integrated into the parks. Like, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe someone in the comments section, if you're Korean, you can help me out. Is this Joseon like architecture? You see a lot of this uh, style of roof on many of the buildings in the city. So over in this area too, this building, or on this building, um, there is also a traditional style roof. I wonder if that's from Joseon. And it looks like I was right. If we come through here, we can see a bit of the cityscape. It's a little better from here. Like it's not obstructed by the fence, um, but we have like pine trees on either side. So it's not like better, uh, or it's not the best, but it's better than it was. I just added that slow motion shot because when I was walking from the pavilion or gazebo, whatever you want to call it, just the light hit these trees over here. It was just magnificent and, and it looked so cinematic. So now actually I can't see because the light just blinded me. <laughs> so let me, let me get my bearings again. Sometimes when you come to the gazebos or pavilions, I don't actually know what it's called. Someone tell me. You'll see signs like this. It's like, Shinbaru Boko Ola Oseo. Like, take off your shoes before going up into this area because they want to keep it clean. And as you can see, like, it doesn't look like there's any dust from feet or shoes. I just love how these, these structures are constructed. Very premium. It looks like Korea puts a lot of its tax money into the construction of its parks. This is actually like very picturesque right here. <laughs> Does it look better with me? <laughs> Maybe not. I was talking earlier about how some people say I'm a simp for Korea, like in the comments and stuff. And even like some of my friends, they're like, oh, you simp for Korea and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I simp for Korea because I live here and I love it. And you no, know, even though they don't pay me, like I'm still going to appreciate where it is that I live. But I mean, Korea, if you want to pay me, I mean, you can. I'm not saying that you, you don't have to, but I mean, I'm not gonna like turn it down if you, you know, throw a little something, something my way. <laughs> this looks like a secret garden. Just walking through here, look at this. And from here, whoa. I don't know if you guys can like really see this, this ground right here. I think this is made from the bark of trees. I really love this about Korean parks because you can come down an area and you won't like slip and slide. Or if there's snow or something, it's like easier to just like do like this to like wipe the snow out of the way. And then, you know, you can keep your footing. Um, and I guess if children are here, or the elderly are here, or just people who have trouble walking, it's easy for them to like maintain their footing. So it's like, Korea, the parks in Korea are really well thought out. It's not just like randomly set here, we're gonna put a park because we need people to come out and go to the park. It's like, we're gonna make a park and we're gonna have this at the park, construct it like this. We're gonna, you know, put this special kind of ground or this special kind of, what is this? I don't know what this is called. I've seen it before, but 
Someone in the comments section tell me, what is this called? Well, look at this. You can climb on this front so I can't because of his wrist. It's not strong enough yet, but I would love to do this because it just makes your legs really strong. So I can imagine children coming here and just climbing on it, or even maybe adults will climb on it, but it's really good for just building building up the body. And look at this, like, <laughs> that's so cute. Like who takes the time to think of little things like this to just, you know, catch the eye and to just make the area a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Ah, okay, so here's the name of the park. It says Sung In Kongwan. Sung In Kongwan. Ah, so the name of this park is Sung In Kongwan. And it says uh, Ane Do, so this is information map. This park is huge. So I went to the restroom earlier, which is another thing I love about Korean parks. Just just wait a second. This, this thing deserves its own segment. <laughs> I was in an area earlier today and I really had to use the restroom. I was like, where's the restroom? Like seriously, where is it? And I couldn't find a restroom. I knew that once I went to a park, there would always be a restroom there. So I was like, where's a park? Where's a park? So I was like looking for a park. And then I just stumbled on this place here. And lo and behold, there was a restroom. And the restroom was so clean and it was big and it was warm on the inside. So I'm, I love that about Korean parks. There's always a restroom. So wherever you are in Seoul or wherever you are in Korea, if you have to use the restroom, you can, you can like bet on it. You can you know, be absolutely 1000% sure that there is going to be a toilet in that park. <laughs> and then here's another play area for children. Not even just for children. This could be a play area for me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I would come and play in this if no one was looking. Even if people were looking, I would probably still come here and play. I'm a big child at heart. And look at these stairs. These stairs are so clean. I hate them because I don't like walking up them, but even though I shouldn't be complaining because I have use of my, my legs. It's just sometimes tough to go up the stairs because there are so many of them here. Ropes for climbing. Children can work on their, their hand strength, their arm strength, their upper body strength. They can get big uh, shoulder girdles as my late grandfather would always say. He would always say, Francois, young man, Francois Marc. <laughs> That's why I call my channel Francois Marc because of my grandfather. My grandfather would always say, he's like, Francois Marc, you need to work on your upper shoulder girdle. And I'm like, why? Like, you know, what does it mean to have a, you know, a big or a developed shoulder girdle, like upper shoulder girdle. And then I realized as I got older, there's a reason why you should have a big upper shoulder girdle. That's all I'll say. <laughs> oh, look at this elderly gentleman going down the stairs. It's so cute. <laughs> But he's moving, which is what I love about Korean parks too. You'll always see elderly people moving in the park, walking around or doing something on the exercise machines. I don't think you see these machines so often in most of the parks in Korea, but definitely you see them here. So you can press this button and then out of this lever comes air. And it's just here to clean off your shoes. That's basically what it is. Uh, that was it. So you have to press the button once and then you have to press the button a second time in order to turn it off. Make sure you remember that. Oh, we got one in action. This area here, they took down the nets, but usually this area would be for badminton or any other games that require uh, net play. Most of the people here in the park are elderly people. Um, there are some like middle-aged uh, folks as well and some I think I saw one or two young people, but most of them are elderly because it's Friday in the afternoon and everyone is at work. Uh, so yeah, usually the elderly people come and hang out in the park and chill and talk and stuff. So it's a really cool place to just come and congregate. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Just got through teaching my students about not smoking. A lot of my students I found out are smokers. Not good. And you got a basketball hoop right here. And then here's another exercise area right here. There's another bench press machine. Oh, I love these things right here. So it's like you get on and you, uh, you got to hold on. And then you twist, 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 twist. Really good for your waist. Twist, 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 twist. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> look at these rocks. Look at how aesthetically pleasing this park is. <laughs> it's so well thought out. A lot of people are fond of coming to parks and bringing their food and having picnics, especially like the park at the Han River. You'll see so many people outside on really nice days. They're, they're just there, you know, with their friends, chilling on mats, 
and they'll order chicken. Yes, in Korea, if you order chicken, they'll bring it to the park. Wonderful water fountains. Yellow leaves, yellow leaves. So this is a cool bench setup right here. So just come here and sit down and you can enjoy watching people play. Love these stone steps. Park is like a maze. Well, not a maze. It's just big. <laughs> That's all I'll say. This park is just really big. There's so many things that you can do here and it's just a nice place to walk. You can walk forever. Oh, oh, I love this. I love this in Korea. This is how you're supposed to use this little walkway here in Korea. My face is gonna go, but you can still see my feet. That's what's important. <laughs> so always take off your shoes. Do not walk on this area with your shoes. So you just get on it and you walk and the stones are sticking up and it hurts, it hurts a lot to walk on this, this uh, area here. But like when you walk on it, it's supposed to help with blood circulation, like in your, in your feet. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Everyone's a YouTuber now. <laughs> so you're supposed to, yeah, step on this area uh, with with just your shoes and you walk and oh it hurts it hurts it hurts but it's really good for your feet it's really good for your blood circulation and I also heard that when you're walking on this kind of uh, ground or this kind of um, you know upraised floor whatever you want to call it like it also helps you go to sleep so sometimes in the spring or in the fall when I don't sleep well uh, I will come out into the park and I will spend like 10 minutes just walking on this this area here. It hurts, but it's well worth it. <laughs> okay, so that's it. I'm done exploring this random Korean park. I forgot the name already. It's somewhere in the video. I'll remember it later or I'll look for it in the video and put it at the end. But anyways, yeah, Korean parks are great. They're, they're wonderful. I love how they're constructed. I love how uh, they have a lot of exercise machines here. I love how many of the people just get out and walk and move. Uh, not saying that this doesn't happen in other parks in other countries around the world. It's just, I love Korean parks. I, I really, really love it. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Come to Korea. Come enjoy the parks. Even if you don't have anything touristy to do, you won't regret it. Thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. As always, first of all, I love you dearly. I want you to stay hydrated. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.